It's easy to be passionate about this business. We get to deal with the most important asset of people's lives, their family home. I remember in my grandfather's day, the passion and the charisma and the energy around him. He's been a big inspiration to me. When he opened his Maroubra office back in 1928, his first goal was, I want to have the biggest agency in Australia. 30 years later, he achieved that. He was an orphan. He basically started his business on the eve of the Great Depression. And then World War II kicked in. So it wasn't really until almost 20 years after he founded his business that he got his big break. After World War II, there was a huge immigration boom. He made very public statements like, I need to help solve the housing crisis. They felt like they were part of something that was more than just a business. They were trying to uh, help build a nation. There's been a wonderful history of innovation in the business. In the 1930s, LJ Hooker was the first to do in-room auctions. So it was a very effective element of the uh, auction process and is being used widely today by the whole industry. It was in the 1950s that my grandfather achieved his first major goal to have the biggest agency in the country. My grandfather was a global citizen early days, but he would spend two to three months traveling the world to find best practices. You read some of his memos and you say, it only took me three days to get to uh, the USA, three days flying. <laughs> but he did that on a regular basis to make sure that he was ahead of the curve. Real Estate Investment Trust, LJ Hooker was the first to do it. And this industry went on to be a $100 billion industry in Australia and made Australia a global leader in it. In order to address the national housing crisis, LJ Hooker went on a very aggressive building program. And the largest one during the 1960s was in a state that would house 35,000 people and required building schools, shopping centres, full infrastructure. So it made a meaningful impact on the community. On one of his many trips to the USA, my grandfather noticed franchising. He sent a whole team over to America to study from the best and they came back and tailored it for an Australian solution. They were not only the first franchiser in Australia across all industries, but 10 years ahead of any other real estate group. By the mid 80s, LJ Hooker had built one in five homes since World War II, which made a huge contribution to solving the housing crisis. LJ Hooker was a pioneer in the digital revolution. We had the first industry website, we developed the first CRMs, ebooks, countless apps. We teamed up with two of the largest tech titans. The speed that we're going at now is uh, breakneck. It's very, very exciting. My grandfather used to say quite famously, real estate is not about houses, it's about people. The success of LJ Hooker has been purely a function of its people. And there's 7,000 people wearing the LJ Hooker badge and they all wear it with pride. And to see their passion for the business is very contagious for me. LJ Hooker has always been about family. And I know in our offices right across Australasia, there are many generations working together. I became a father last year and our gorgeous daughter Isabel is now the fourth generation of LJ Hooker. We have such a solid foundation and uh, innovation in our DNA. Our future is looking as strong, as exciting as it ever has.